What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossBearTech.com. How you guys doing? I'm doing well. Hopefully you guys are doing well too. Now today we got an exciting show because we're testing out the Heike 960. We're gonna test out its performance. We're gonna run some benchmarks. We're gonna get it connected to the internet. We might even compare it to a Raspberry Pi 3. Let's get started. The last video, if you guys missed it, I unboxed the 960. We powered it up for the first time and I didn't really get to do much testing. We're gonna do a lot of cool things. We're gonna run some videos. We're gonna do some benchmarks. We're gonna download some apps and more. Now, I give you a quick rundown of the specs. It's got four times Cortex A730 plus a four times Cortex A53 big little CPU architecture. And for the GPU, we got an ARM Mali G71 MP8 GPU running at 900 megahertz. And for RAM, we got three gigabytes of LP DDR4 RAM. For storage, we got 32 gigabytes of UFC flash storage. One of the connectors we got is a PCIe Gen 2 on a M.2 M key connector. We got two USB 3.0 type A connectors. Now coming preloaded on the 960, it's the Android's open source project, the ASOP. And uh, it's Android O, I believe. And it's pretty much one of the newest Android operating systems out there. It hasn't been released. Now you get to play around with it on this development board. Now a cool fact about the Hikey 960, it's an official Android open source development board. So you're gonna have all the support from Android to get this thing started, all the downloads and everything is on their open source page, which I'll leave a link in the description. They give you all the support you need to get this thing started. When you buy the 960, it comes preloaded with this operating system. If you're not happy with this operating system that comes preloaded, you can install any Linux distro you want. Later on, I'm gonna create a video showing you guys how to install Linux on the 960, so stay tuned for that. Now the last thing and probably one of the most important things I wanna talk about is its price. It's 239 US dollars. It's not cheap, the Raspberry Pi is 39 US dollars but you get the performance. Now, if you guys are tinkerers like me and you feel bogged down by the Raspberry Pi's performance, it's really slow. It's not the fastest computer out there. Then this is the perfect board for you because you can install Linux on it. You can do all the projects you would be able to do with a Raspberry Pi. Now, in my opinion, the performance beats out the price. So in this video, we get to really test out the performance of the 960 and we're gonna compare it to the Raspberry Pi 3. So we're gonna see, we're also gonna see if that price justifies buying this board. So let's get started with the demonstration. All right, so I'm gonna show you some of the benchmarks I'm gonna run. I already installed them right here. I have Geekbench and I have 3D Mark. Now 3D Mark really stresses out your like GPU and CPU. And I tested it out and we're gonna talk more about that later. Geekbench is a multi-platform benchmark. You can install it on your like Android, on your Linux devices, on your Windows devices, any device basically that has any any like known device out there, you'll be able to install it. So it's a multi-platform benchmark. That's why I like it. That's how we were gonna compare it to like the Raspberry Pi 3 and stuff like that. Now if you guys are curious on how I installed these apps, I did a like two or three minute video showing you guys how to install the these types of apps on this device. So if you're interested, watch that video. It's gonna be right after this one. It's a small video, I think it's like two minutes. I already shot it, I haven't edited it, but I think I'm gonna do that one first, upload it, then I'll upload this. So you guys should be able to see it without a problem. All right, so the first benchmark I'm gonna run is called Geekbench 3 or Geekbench. And it knows this is a Android device. It picks up that it's Android O and, and it knows that it's a high key 960. So that's pretty cool. It's able to figure out its specs. Now to run the benchmark, it's pretty simple. All you do is click on run benchmark. It's gonna take five to 10 minutes to run. Once that's finished running, I'm gonna come back. All right, so the benchmark is over. And for single core, I got a 777. And for a multi-core, I got a 2300. So again, I'm gonna use these benchmarks to compare it to the Raspberry Pi. I'm gonna run the same benchmark on the Raspberry Pi 3 and all the other devices. I'm not gonna go over all these results here. I'm just gonna scroll down. Some of you guys might be interested. So if you see something you're interested in, just pause the video. So I'm just gonna scroll down as far as I can go down. And I think that's it. And I'm gonna scroll right back up. So if you guys are interested, pause whatever part of that you wanted to pause to view and you'll be able to see the full results. So again, a score of 777 and a multi-score of 2300. And the next benchmark, it's not a multi-platform benchmark. I won't be able to run this on a Raspberry Pi 3, but I wanna get an idea of how powerful this board is. So we're gonna run 3D Mark. If you guys are familiar, 3D Mark could be run on a PC. So we're able to run 3D Mark on the Android and 3D Mark tests out your CPU and your GPU. You, get, you figure out how many frames per second you can get on different like the benchmarks. So it'll play the benchmark in the background it'll show you how many frames per second you're getting and other like stats like that so so to run 3d mark i'm just going to click on it i'm going to click on benchmarks here i'm going to click on slingshot extreme because it's recommended now it's going to run the benchmark in the background i'm going to take my i'm going to take the webcam off so you guys can see the full benchmark <laughs>
so these are the results. Now I wanna show you something. Now the blue here, this is our average CPU usage and it spiked up to like 100%. It did get up to like 1.6 gigahertz, I think. So that was pretty cool. But as you can see, these are spike, it's spiking and it's dropping. I think the CPU is actually thermal throttling. Now this red here is uh, temperature, but I don't see any waves of temperature. So I don't think it was reading the temperature at all. So I have to figure out how to read the temperature of this device because the because this benchmark wasn't able to read the CPU temperature. So I wished it would, but I do know that it was thermal throttling. The reason I know it was thermal throttling is because I touched the CPU while the benchmark was running and the thing was freaking burning. I knew it got higher than like 90 C for sure because this thing was burning, burning. And I have the heat sink that it came with and I installed it. So if I'm touching the heat sink and the heat sink is burning, you know this thing is burning. So what I'm gonna do in another video, probably the video after this, I'm gonna water cool the 960. Yes, you heard it. I'm gonna water cool the high key 960 and we're gonna run the same benchmark and see what, what scores we get after that. I think the CPU and GPU were thermal throttling because of the heat, but we're gonna be able to test it because I have something to compare it to. Now the, this results is for non-cooling and the next results we do after we water cool will be the water cooled results. So we're gonna compare it, see if we get any better results, see if we get any higher frames per second. If you look at the frames per second here, it, it was really low. I saw like high, like maybe six frames per second for every test that it ran. The lowest I seen it was like at uh, one frame per second. So that's freaking nuts. We'll do this again. When we water cool the device, I think we're gonna get higher frames. So I, I'm almost guaranteed because this thing was for sure throttling. If you guys wanna see me water cool the high key 960, like this video. If you haven't subscribed to this video, subscribe. I'm Rasim from RossBarTech.com and thank you guys for watching.